at least that portion of it. Right. Um, those people have been around New York now for a couple of weeks. Yeah, they kind of roam around and pack. Right, yeah. So they obviously don't have jobs. Right? No. It seemed kind of the message is muddled. Message it's really based in the anarchist roots of, of American politics, and allegedly they've been inspired by the movements um, of the Arab Spring. I don't think we're really looking for the Arab Spring um, in America. Yeah, the Arab Spring is about democracy. Yeah, <laughs> Fox 5 photographer Roy Eisen got sprayed with mace. I took a hit from a nightstick in the stomach, and then we all went down under a crush of people. Police then moved in to make arrests. Operation Invade Wall Street. A message to the media. Greetings, institutions of the media. We are anonymous. You have already discovered that the Wall Street occupation can no longer be ignored, and you will soon discover that it cannot be spun to suit the agenda of the wealthiest 1%. In the years leading up to this moment, law enforcement and domestic intelligence agencies have been enjoying their work a little too much. While the corrupt legislators instate unjust laws as mindless automatons, their attack dogs blindly follow orders with soulless precision. The laws of this country no longer serve to protect the weak from the excesses of the strong. They punish the 99% while allowing the 1% to escape retribution for their crimes against the people. These laws have been bought and paid for by the robber barons of Wall Street. Meanwhile, the government willingly ignores their greed, bailing out the perpetrators of the most recent economic crises. Now, the organs of law enforcement, the judiciary, and the government rotate around the axis of the wealthiest 1%. The people will no longer ignore corruption or tolerate inaction. We will not labor for your leisure. We cannot stay silent as we are being exploited in the name of profit. We will not stand by and watch the system take over our way of life. We the people shall stand against the government in action. We the people will not be witnesses to your corruption and ill-gotten profits. Witness. We therefore declare a popular war against the New York Stock Exchange. The 10th of October is a day that will never be forgotten. Vox Patpoli, Vox Anonymous. We are Legion. We are the 99%. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Wall Street, expect us. The establishment is invincible. Protesting is useless. You'll never change anything. If everyone in the world believed that, then every single country in the world would still be kept in poverty by a ruling monarchy. That's a fact. Anonymous.